So what do we say about the Singapore Grand Prix? Well, I mean, the thing is, Japanese Grand Prix starts, well, tomorrow, well, in a few hours, actually, um, from when I'm recording this. So, I'm kind of just doing this, and then I'm getting straight into a preview for Suzuka. And, yeah, I've already got the one back in video, but... Let's talk about Singapore for a moment, because there are a few debates that we can have from it. Firstly, Verstappen still has weaknesses, and he really struggles with off days. The whole lashing out of the team over the radio, an expletive-laden rant before not going to the debrief um, after quali, and then in the race just struggling around. Having issues overtaking Norris and going straight on, only really been able to fight back up past Vettel the last lap. Even then he benefited from Lewis making a mistake. Now part of that's what Singapore is as a track and what these cars that are the biggest and heaviest are to race around there. But part of it is still like even the greats find something they need to learn. Like Lewis Hamilton who went straight on into a wall almost like he did at Imola what, 18 months ago. Um then decided to try and overtake Vettel on the wet part of the track on the penultimate lap left the Stappen through. But up towards the front, it was Checo getting a good lead and running away with it. Is it that he's good at street tracks, or is it just that he's better than other people, is it? I'd say that you have to be good at street tracks to win there. Sometimes a bit of luck, but you have to be good around there. It could be that that's the case for Checo. I mean, all but one of his wins have happened in street courses, right? I, I don't know, though. I think that undermines like, how good a performance that was. For a guy who's been out of form and struggling with the car, that's a really good performance. Especially, it undermines like the issues Ferrari have been having. Ferrari, who were the fastest guys out the block, realistically, who won at... Albert Park it, it kind of undermines the drop the Ferrari have had as well not just in terms of like any kind of more management stuff but also in terms of performance that new technical directive seems to have really hurt them of course we won't know for sure because well it's F1 we never really know for sure do we just like we won't know for sure what's going to happen with this whole cost cap thing well at least until after Suzuka Anyways, those are my thoughts. Let me know yours in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.